In today's show, we look at emerging technology and mixed reality, mobile phone predictions for 2022, the success of rewarded mobile ads, and we talk to CEO Benjamin Fonse about ExoClick's new ad exchange. It's Wednesday, the 9th of August. My name's Giles Hurst, and you're watching The Additive by ExoClick, the show that brings you all things ad tech. Hello, and welcome to the show. So, virtual reality is a digital environment that shuts out the real world. And then there's augmented reality, which places digital content on top of the physical world you see around you. Now, what about mixed reality? Well, this merges real and virtual worlds to produce new environments where physical and digital objects coexist and interact in real time. And it's all from a headset. Microsoft Mixed Reality headsets are available for developers on the Microsoft Store. And many of the big boys are actually getting behind this technology. Asa have a headset, as well as HP, and there are also rumors that Apple's iPhone 8 will be a Mixed Reality device. Now, how does it work? Well, Mixed Reality, or MR, works by scanning your physical environment and creating a 3D map of your surroundings. So the device will know exactly where and how to place digital content into that space, while allowing you to interact using gestures, just like this video showing the game Minecraft. Now, MR technology does have the potential to replace all of your screens. So imagine like scenes out of the Minority Report, for example, where you can engage with content using gestures, just like that. But MR offers the ability to add elements to our real world on demand. So if you think of it like the next generation Siri Assistant or Google search engine, except by using gestures or more importantly with the goggles, using your eyes to unlock search queries from physical objects you look at rather than voice or type search commands. Now this show, The Additive, is all about ad tech, so we want to know what the potential is for digital advertising. And it's said that mixed reality will offer brands and advertisers the ability to connect, interact, and sell to consumers in ways that have never existed before. So what about some examples? Well, a brand can create its own immersive 3D world to build customer loyalty and offering a variety of entertaining content filled with various upsells. Also, walking down the supermarket aisle, this can trigger experiences from content packaging such as an olive oil brand, for example, showing a 3D hologram of a top chef giving away recipe tutorials. Or what about picking tomatoes from a supermarket basket? This could actually appear like you're actually picking those tomatoes off the vine in a farm. And you've got a gluten allergy? Well, as you walk down the aisle, all you can see is gluten-free products with all the others blocked out. So that's all pretty exciting stuff, and obviously you can see now the creative potential involved. But of course, such experiences will only become mainstream once the wearable technology is small enough and powerful enough to sit inside a typical glasses lens. So, what might be thought of initially as a new concept for gaming, as you saw in the Minecraft example, MR has a much wider creative scope to really make us feel like we are living in the Minority Report. Within the next five years, 66% of the world's population, that's 5.5 billion people, will have a smartphone. And that's up from 2.8 billion in the last decade. Now, this is according to a report from Forrester. They're also saying that forecasts for global mobile, smartphone, and tablets show that Android will capture 73% of the market share this year, followed by Apple on 21% and Windows by 4%. Now, Android's dominance is powered by the low-cost smartphone manufacturers in China, according to Forrester. As 54% of ad sales are now generated by mobile clicks and impressions, predictions are that mobile advertising spend will pass the $1 billion mark this year. Now, still on mobile, a new report from Tapjoy finds that rewarded ads actually boost in-app spending. Indeed, users who engage with rewarded ads are 4.5 times more likely to make an in-app purchase compared to those who don't. Tapjoy also found that user spend increased significantly after engagement with rewarded ads by a whopping 326% on average. Now, for the apps that were studied, the average spend boost per user ranged between 200% to over 500%. So rewarded video ads are also particularly successful in driving retention. Indeed, 30-day retention gradually increases with each video view, which went from 53% to 68%. Now, Tapjoy commented that rewarded ads serve as an initial introduction to an app's in-game economy or premium content, and they found that once users start to get a taste for it, they want more, and they're willing to pay for it. 
So we're here today with Benjamin Fonse, the CEO and founder of ExoClick. Welcome to the Additive Benjamin. Thank you, Jess. Now we've been meaning to interview you for a while, and yes. today's the perfect opportunity because we're going to talk about the new ad exchange. Yep. So why has ExoClick decided to launch a new ad exchange right now? Uh, I think for ExoClick, it was a logical move really to move into the uh, ad exchange space. Uh, in the last few years, we've seen how new networks and mm. platforms have appeared on the market. And so it's become more fragmented. And uh, we saw basically the need to merge all of this inventory into one single place. Mm -hmm. um, ExoClick is uh, well positioned on the market. And so we think we can have a really a positive impact for everyone. Cool. And so for advertisers, I mean, what can they get out of um, the ad exchange? Mm -hmm. So for advertisers, our main goal really was to make this as easy as we can for them. Mm -hmm. And so now they have access to all that, that, that inventory in one single uh, platform and they can access it through different ways. So they can use programmatic and connect through OpenRTB or XML, mm -hmm. but they can also use traditional campaigns and eventually use our API to automate certain actions of their campaigns. Ah, yeah, because um, tell us a bit more about the new API. I know there's a version two out now. How yes. Can, how can they use that? Yeah, so this uh, new version of the API is still in beta, but will be released in the, in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's already been used by a few clients, and uh, now it basically allows them to manage any kind of actions that they can do in the admin panel. So for example, the creation of the campaigns, the modification of prices, blocking mm -hmm. of traffic sources, anything you can do from our panel, you can now do through the API. Cool. So what about publishers then? What can they get out of the ad exchange? Mm -hmm. So for publishers, uh, the main advantage is basically now they have access to all the inventory of ExoClick mm -hmm. that's combined with uh, the inventory of uh, all the members of the ad exchange. And all of this is done basically in real time, comparing the bids of the different platforms. And how many um, members do you actually have tied up now in that exchange? So, so far we have about 30 partners connected and we are creating and adding new partners every, every week. So what makes ExoClick's ad exchange better than the competition? Yes. Um, I guess what makes it better is basically ExoClick has a, a huge inventory of direct uh, traffic and mm -hmm. direct campaigns. And now we are combining this with uh, these 30 plus uh, partners mm -hmm. in real time. And this is quite unique in the, in the market. Uh, so it's basically creating a win-win uh, situation for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, the advertisers are happy because now they have access to all that inventory from one single platform. Um, for publishers, it basically increased their revenue, all mm -hmm. of this in real time and without any kind of specific integration for them. And well, even our competitors are happy because uh, now they have access to all of ExoClick Direct Inventory, uh, mm -hmm. something that they didn't have access to before. Wow, cool. Huh? Yeah. So if I'm a publisher, how do I uh, sign up to join the ad exchange? Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, we have an apply button on our website mm -hmm. and you can go there. Uh, we have listed a few requirements that you have to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, we are trying to open this feature to our premium publishers. Mm -hmm. But of course, you can also talk to your uh, dedicated account manager and he will help you get you started. Great. Well, thank you for coming to join us today, thank Benjamin. You for having me. And if you want to find out more, you can visit www.exoclick.com forward slash ad exchange. Now, that wraps up the show today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next, next time. time. <laughs>